Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. There are claims that everyone at the SNP conference in Edinburgh is happy. They are content and it is a lot more smiley than perhaps one would expect in the words of one delegate. However, there is one person who's not falling for this. This one person who's saying that that is not the case, that everything is actually a lot worse than people believe. This, of course, is the defeated uh, SNP MP, Joanna Cherry. She's very, very unhappy with the result. She's very unhappy at losing her job. And she says it wasn't her fault. It was entirely the fault of the, um, of the party's leadership that's put them in this position. For her, she says, the worst crime is at the moment that John Swinney is in complete and utter denial of how badly the SNP are doing. It's almost as though he's ignored the general election result. He seems to think that because he's still got a lot of MSPs at Holyrood, that the party is still a success, still a winner, and still very popular everywhere. She says that he will have a major uh, reckoning with the truth come the next uh, Holyrood elections in 2026. She says this denial is damaging the party, perhaps forever. I say, good. Keep on denying, John. The truth is, he is in denial. He's not accepting that people are rejecting the SNP. But all indications are that this is indeed what's happening. She also went on to say that the main fault for the defeat lay not with Swinney, he wasn't in there long enough to actually do too much damage, but was as a direct result of Sturgeon and her policies, of Murrell and his criminology, or criminality rather, and of Hamza Youssef for being, again, a man not doing the job he was capable of doing. Uh, he, he was a terrible leader. He failed to read the room. He made very strange decisions. He acted not in the best interest of Scotland, but in the best interest of Hamza Youssef. And these all combined to show the people of Scotland that they must reject. And reject, obviously, they did. Uh, she's saying she cannot understand why so many people at the conference are upbeat. She's saying that they really haven't got a clue about how bad it is out there. They just don't accept that the Westminster uh, result will be repeated. They can't see it. They don't understand it. She said, but it is going to happen. She said, everybody knows it. The party's in disarray. It's basically the party's going on, but the beer is running out. And they're all too drunk to notice. Which I think is an excellent metaphor. Um, but this, this current state of denial, she says, has been there a long time because nobody wants to face the truth, because nobody wants to admit that the SNP are unpopular. They don't want to admit that their policies are wrong. They don't want to admit that they've failed. And she says, until they do, nothing will change, and therefore the future is inevitable. Well done, Joanna Cherry. Once again, a speaker of truth, a woman who perhaps was always in the wrong party. Who knows? Anyway, thank you very much. I thought it was interesting. Let me know what you think and I'll speak soon. Bye.